I'm Daegu, the mayor of Bamboo Village. Now, who are you? Right, right. You must be the one everyone's talking about. Wonderful. You're the hero who fired the cannon at the Black Ram. Nice to meet you. I've heard that you'll be with us for a while. Please, make yourself at home. We could use someone like you as we rebuild after the raid. If you can, please lend a hand around the village. I just remembered. Guak Chil sent for you. He can't get up, but he said he wanted you to meet him at the healing house. You don't know. He kept talking about you. Well, see him when you have a chance. Thanks for your help. Very nice. Out you go now.
Well, Jill has been shouting for you all day. Poor boy. Nice of you to drop by. He's behind you. You dragged him to me during the Black Ram attack. He insisted on thanking you in person for saving his life. He'll be bedridden for days. He may never be the same. Go see him before he tries to get up and walk over here. Those filthy Black Ram. Look what they did. It's you. Thank you so much. Please, help me up so I may bow to you properly. I tried, you know. I tried so hard and I ran, but I wasn't fast enough. I wanted to be a hero. I tried so hard and they struck me down. I can't believe so many didn't make it back. I'm sorry. I'll be up soon, I promise you. It's just a scratch, really. I'll be up soon and fighting, you'll see. He may never walk again. Poor Guac Chill. He's been slipping in and out of hallucinations all day. It pains me to see him like this. He's pushed himself so hard ever since the Black Ram killed his sister. Everyone's lost family, but he blames himself for so much. I wish. I could help if I had the right medicine. Unfortunately, the Black Ram raided all our supplies. His bones will set crookedly if I don't get that medicine in time. Everyone's busy with repairs and recovery, so I'm on my own. You're so generous. Just head down to Bamboo Beach. All I need is extract from some young sand conches. Thank you. Bring it to me and I'll take care of the rest. Be careful out there. Please, we can save him. Jet!
Excellent. This is more than enough. Leave me with Guac Chill and I'll begin treat. Also, I can't believe how healthy you look. When Dutchin brought you in, I thought you'd be dead within an hour. Remarkable. You really are worthy of the Hong Moon name. Oh, the captain came in earlier. He wants to see you. Jiang, there you are. I don't suppose you saw Doden on the way here, did you? I have an urgent message for the mayor, who has journeyed north to Everdusk. Normally, Doden would deliver such a message, but he's nowhere to be found. You're sure? Those unfamiliar with Everdusk are rarely prepared for its dangers. And after all, you've just recovered from a serious injury. You should leave at once. Everdusk lies just outside the village. Head there and locate the mayor. I like your determination. Within the world of warriors, Jians who have attained greatness are known as Jiansei. 
I'd like to think I bear witness to a Gionse in the making. Seek out Gom Semsik at our Everdusk outpost. He may know where the mayor is.
from the Hong Moon School. What an honor. It's great to finally meet you. I'm Gong Samsik. You have a letter for me? Ha, huh, this is normally Doden's job. Oh well, you're a pleasant surprise all the same. This is a supply request. The mayor's in charge of that, not us. I wish I could go find him and hand this over. He and Bumbak went to the abandoned well to investigate the water shortage. There were some black ram in the area, so I told him not to go. What a noble man. Still, he's probably not as strong as he seems to think he is. Unfortunately, we can't spare anyone right now. Would you kindly check up on him before you head back to town? Thanks. Read this letter only if you're a true student of the Hong Moon arts. Yeah! 
So, Captain Dochen sent you. How considerate of him. You've done so much. You didn't have to come all the way out here. Ah, he's worried. I'm not as weak as I look. I'm not worth the trouble, but thank you all the same. What? Oh no, my mistake. I must have the wrong well. These maps are so old. I didn't know this place was full of pirates. There doesn't even seem to be any water in this well. We should get out of here. I'm sorry to have troubled everyone. I'll head back now. Worry not. I'm certain even an old man like me can find his way home. Cool! 
not too shabby for a Hong Moon rookie. <laughs> Still confused, little cricket? to move to get this far. Phew! It would take us all night and then some to talk about my heroics. <laughs> and you've been pretty busy with the hero stuff too. <laughs> Our mayor returned safely. Thank you so much. You're really pulling your weight with all this help. Dodan and Namsa, you are here too. I think they want to talk to you. Please tell them to return to Bamboo Village when they're done. Well, honestly, Namsa, you has no training and can't fight. She shouldn't be out here. I told her to stay away, but she said she was running messages for the mayor. 
I don't understand what the mayor's thinking. Why is he sending the captain's daughter on dangerous errands? Every week, she comes here and sends out carrier pigeons. Then, at least four guards insist on escorting her back. It's so much trouble. If something happens to her, Dochin will kill us. Please ask her to return to Bamboo Village immediately. How time! I have an assignment for you in the cemetery. That's right, you're practically in the guard now. What an honor! Yigan is waiting for me at the Foshi Pyres. Tell him I sent you. No, no. Tell him that the captain told me to tell you to go on my behalf. This is an important mission. You trust me, right? Get going immediately. And don't ask any questions. Just do what I said! Goodness! I am so sorry. Please forgive Doden for that. Doden has asked Papa for a real mission for months. So Dochin ordered him to assist the guard at the Foshi Pyres. He's just too scared. Doden's always been superstitious. Honestly, I don't see what the big problem is. Papa would be furious if he found out. Knowing Doden, he'll probably hide until you finish the job. I can't believe Doden ran away. Please, can you help him with this assignment? He must feel so embarrassed. I don't know the details, but Papa only asks if it's important. Please check on what's happening in the cemetery. 
Boshi Pyres is just south of here. Please be careful. Yes? Who are you and what do you want? Really? You're not even from the Guard? Does Captain Dochin really think one of the Bamboo Guard is a spy? I thought he trusted us. No. What? Forget about it. 
Let's get to it. Since you're already here, I have some work for you. Here's the situation. I was blindsided that someone nabbed the guard's supply of gunpowder. I never even saw the bandit's face. All I remember is that creep, Um Soji. He didn't help me. He ran as soon as I was smacked over the head. I'm sure he knows. When I asked, Um Soji laughed at me. He said he'd tell me what happened, but only after I did him a favor. I'm still feeling lightheaded from the attack. I'd do the favor myself, but I could pass out. Since you're filling in for Dodin, do his job and talk to Um Soji. If he gives you any trouble, call me over and I'll rough him up. Don't let Um Soji intimidate. Why, hello. I saw you were conversing with Yigan. Ha! Huh. Could it be true that the big brute is scared of me? Do you really want to know who stole that precious, precious crate? The deal's the same as before. I need a favor first. It's a public service, really. It's as natural as breathing or dying. I just need you to burn a few corpses for me. This is the ultimate charity, because souls are eternal. Imagine being stuck in this nightmare of a world forever, suffering. Cremation helps souls move on to the spirit realm where they can rest. Ah, if only we could all be so lucky. You've seen the poor bloody Jiangxi, I'm sure. They suffer. Imagine being stuck like that in this forest, unable to speak or move properly. That's your task. Subdue these poor souls and cremate their bodies. Are you scared? Can you handle the touch and stench of death? What'll it be, warrior? You seem comfortable with killing. Can you handle the cleanup? Careful. Wouldn't want to get burned, would we? 